I do believe that the vision that Darren had was to refocus on what the HDGCC's mission was from the very beginning. And that is, we are a community service organization who is focused on perpetuating the Japanese culture while providing professional and personal development opportunities for our membership. Some of the events that the HJJCC had this past year was our Cherry Blossom Festival, which 15 contestants went through months of training, cultural classes, public appearances, a contestant reception, fashion show, and then of course ending off with the annual festival ball where the new queen and court are selected. The YBR this year was pretty successful. We had four speakers, Glenn Hashimoto of Suisan Company, Brian Schatz, the Lieutenant Governor, then we had a trio of women leaders, and our last event was focused around APEC. My committee and I just kind of looked at what kind of events and what kind of topics would really be beneficial to our members, and I think our members really enjoyed what we put out. Our new member induction is something that we haven't had in a while, and we had a really, really great turnout. And we've been fortunate where the members who did attend that event have come out and participated in other community service events over the past year because I think members had an opportunity to come out and meet other people. They're more comfortable in who the HJJCC is, what we do, what our mission is, and because of that, they're more willing to come out and participate and develop their other skills. I think the big takeaway for me is the amount of people that I meet and the friendship that's developed through this organization. And when I say friendship, it's just not here in Hawaii, it's internationally. We also have five sister chapter JCs over in Japan, and through that, we have built long-lasting relationships. We've had two members, although they personally made that decision on their own, help by engaging the HJJCC by going on a mission to Tohoku, Japan. They visited Sendai as well as other devastated cities that were affected through the tsunami and earthquake in March. Our organization is a community service organization, but through the tragedy in Japan, we kind of realized that our community spreads beyond Hawaii and our organization is definitely looking toward helping out that effort. I think, you know, in, in the next few years, we're, we're going to try and really refocus the organization toward its membership. Provide them events where they can attend and, and really get to meet other members, which I found most beneficial. So we have a great board, we have a great court, and we have a great membership. And I think that's all the right pieces to really make the next few years for the JCs uh, very, very good.